Hey, today we're at my F-150 EcoBoost. It's a 2020 model with the 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine. And today we're going to do two free intake mods to reduce intake manifold temperatures. So the first of which I'm going to remove the engine cover, which holds heat on the intake manifold. Removing this intake or top engine cover will reduce engine temperatures at the intake manifold. The manifold air temperature will be reduced by at least five to eight degrees, which we will do a test later and find out. The last video we had made, we just did it factory with the factory hood heat shield and the factory engine cover, which holds heat on the engine. The first part I'm going to do is remove the engine cover. It's two 10 millimeter bolts inside there and remove the oil cap. And the cover should just pull right off. If not, well, <laughs> I'll let you know what I had to do. So I've got my 10 millimeter and I'm gonna remove those two bolts and more to follow. After those two nuts were removed and the oil cap, just pull the engine cover straight off. And now we can see the direct intake manifold. And without this cover, the heat dissipates off the intake manifold and will make it cooler our intake manifold temperature will be colder because some people just measure their intake temperature by the intake tube. Well, the intake tube leads to the turbo. It gets hot inside the turbo compressor, goes through the intercooler, gets cool again, and then goes into the intake manifold. Well, all that work to cool that boosted air just to get hot again in the intake manifold is kind of counterproductive. So. My mod here, this intake mod, is going to cool the intake manifold and make the intercoolers and your intake system much more efficient because the overall intake manifold temperature until the valve opens will be as cold as possible and heat will dissipate quickly. And that's the other reason I'm going to remove this heat shield up here on the hood. That way, the heat from this blanket won't keep the heat on top of the engine. So in turn, the heat will rise and go out the back of the hood and avoid the intake manifold. So you will have a nice, cool intake manifold. Next, I'm going to remove these clips, these little plastic rivets with my special tool. Here is the tool. I'm going to use to remove the heat shield rivets. It's a little cat claw tool and I'll go under the rivet, under the rivet and pop it off just like that. And I will do that for every rivet and drop that heat blanket. More to follow. And once all the rivets are off, you can drop the heat blanket, take it off, and save the rivets in case you want to ever want to stall it again. So now, the air, hot air, can escape the top of the intake manifold engine, go right up, and evacuate at the end of the hood. So these are two free intake mods that will get your intake temperatures colder. The engine cover, which holds the heat onto the intake manifold. And the hood blanket, which holds heat in the engine compartment. And this will especially be noticed after 30 minutes of driving. If you have those stock components on, you open the hood, and it's a lot of heat under there. Now, after doing this, you open the hood, the engine's nice and cool to the touch. Big difference between factory 
and we'll do a driving test and I'll show you the difference of intake temperature. Last time we tested it, it was 48 degrees outside and the intake temperatures were ranging from 74 to 68, at some point 66. So that was the coldest we were able to get, 48 degrees. And while we were driving, we were getting 66 to 68 degrees under hood temperatures. So with these two mods, I expect to see at least a four or five degree drop or even better. All right, more to follow. We're gonna test this out. Okay, so far I've been driving about 20 minutes. And the highest temperature I've reached so far, like waiting at a stop sign, was 63. That was the hottest I reached just sitting there. Now that I'm moving, I'm at 57 and the temperature outside is 47. So it's 10 degrees different from the outside air versus before it was 18 degrees different. So just removing the heat blanket from the engine cover, the hood, just removing that engine cover that held the heat on the intake manifold and removing the hood blanket, just those two things resulted in more the, gosh, that's a really good drop difference. 48 to 58 difference. It's like 10 degrees. Now that I'm moving again, yeah, 48 outside right now. And I'm getting, well, I'm at highway speed, so I'm getting 63 right now, where before it was 66. So I'm gonna go on another road here gonna slow down a little bit. I've been at operating temperature, yeah, more than 20 minutes now, because all my temperatures are up there. You got your engine coolant temp and tranny temp. Everything's up. Yep. Now I'm gonna take it on a nice little easy road for a while, 48. Right now I'm at 63 because I just got off highway speed. And we'll go on this road for a little bit and see the temperature stabilize. More to follow. There's still one more mod left to do, which I'm gonna do on the next video. I'm going to modify my air box so it gets more cool air. Right now it gets just a little bit of cool air from the front, which is a good source. But I'm going to make an opening on the bottom of the filter box so it can get cold air from below. So it gets more cold air to go into the turbocharger compressor, get compressed, go through the intercoolers, and shoot to the intake. And I'm gonna see how many degrees that makes a difference of. So far I've just done the hood heat shield and the engine cover, and removing that has net me a few degrees colder. I just finished a 40 minute drive, and the engine at the intake manifold is cool to the touch, even though everything else down below, the turbos are hot, the exhaust manifolds are hot, the heads are hot, but the intake manifold is still cool to the touch. So, removing this hood shield and the intake manifold cover, which covers the whole top of the engine, keeps everything so much colder. Even after a 45 minute drive, the intake temperature at the manifold never got hotter than 90 degrees. And that's pretty darn good considering the engine coolant temperature is to us 201 and the exhaust temperature was about 850 degrees Fahrenheit so all things considered that's the test I didn't do on the first test I didn't test the factory system after a 35 40 
minute drive, which is a big difference because convection spreads all the heat from the exhaust up to the top of the engine and the heads. Because right now the heads are warm, but before they were like really hot after I get done with the drive. And the intake manifold is still cool to the touch, which tells me this little bit works and it was absolutely free. And the next mod I'm gonna do is right now I'm getting air from here, which is in the front of the vehicle. A good spot, it's a good cold air intake from the factory. But down here is the bottleneck. It's not a very big hole. So what I wanna do is go below and cut the bottom of the air box so it breathes a bunch of cool air from the bottom. Right down there, you can see down there all the way, you're gonna get a lot of cold air down from the bottom, suck up the top, and then I'll compare like this test and the first test and see the difference in intake temperatures. All right, well, I hope you like this video and I hope it helps give some ideas, free modifications to reduce intake manifold temperatures because that's really where the accurate temperature is at the intake manifold. And after 30, 40 minutes of driving, the engine's heat rises and with all those covers on, the intake manifold gets very hot. Well, after my 40 minute drive, without the covers, I just touched the top of the manifold and it feels cool to the touch. So the mod did what I wanted it to do. So I hope this gives you some great ideas and have a great day, mad boosting.